Hey everybody, Yvonne here. Today, we're gonna dive into the topic that's on top of the mind for many entrepreneurs and web designers, Shopify versus Webflow. Both of these platforms are incredibly popular and they're used to build websites and online stores. However, they do cater to different needs. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of which one of these platforms is gonna be the perfect fit for you. So let's get started. First, let's talk about Shopify. Now, to make it easier for you guys to follow along, check out the link down in the description for you guys this one month trial for only $1. And all we need to do to get started is just to enter our email. And once we punch that in, we're going to answer a couple questions, which is going to make it for Shopify much easier to cater towards your needs. So I'm just starting. I want to build an online store, products I buy and make by myself. I am located in the US. And all we got to do is just sign up with our email. So let's go ahead and enter the email that we've entered before. And we're going to create our Shopify account. Awesome. So now we're ready to get started. So let's enter our password in and boom, we're going to be ready to go. So let's answer some other questions again. And alrighty, we're ready to get started. The Shopify is often referred to as the go-to platform for e-commerce. And if you're looking to build a store that specializes in e-commerce, Shopify has a ton to offer. So here's some of the key features and benefits that it has. Number one is going to be the user-friendly interface. Now, if we want to go ahead and build a website, it's going to be really easy. We're just going to go to the online store, press the customize button, and boom, we're going to be ready to make changes to our website. If we want to go ahead and edit our text, all we got to do is select it and we edit it just like so. We can easily add more products, change the way the website looks, and you don't need any technical background in order to be successful with the platform. Thus, if you're trying to get the website up and running, it's going to be really easy with Shopify as you can go ahead and add different sections that go from rich text to collages to multi rows and customize your website in any way you want. But the second big benefit is that Shopify has a very distinct specialization, which is e-commerce. So pretty much what this means is that you have all the tools in the world to run an online store, track your inventory and collect the analytics behind your conversion rates. The platform also supports multiple sales channels that allows you to sell on things like social media, online marketplaces, and many more others. This integrated approach allows you to streamline your operations and reach a broader audience. Now let's check out the analytics tab. All we got to do for that is just press the analytics button. And from here, we're actually able to see our total sales, sales by a specific channel, how many online sessions are we getting on our website and where they're coming from, and all of our conversion rates, ranging from add it to car, reach checkout, and sessions that are converted. We can also see things like our average order value, our top selling products, and even our returning customer rate, which allows allows us to scale our business as we grow. Now folks, since this video is not a Shopify tutorial, I'm not gonna go too in depth over all the features that are included because as you can see, if I scroll down, there's a lot more tools in the analytics tab, but we do have more videos on the channel that focus on those features if you guys are interested. And hey, as you guys are playing around in the analytics section right over here, I would also go check out the settings and click on the payments tab. And what's actually interesting about this is that Shopify offers different ways we can actually accept transactions on our website that ranges from Shopify payments, Stripe, PayPal, and many other ones. This flexibility ensures that you can provide your customers with their preferred payment options, which can help increase sales. And additionally, Shopify payments can actually decrease your guys' transaction fees, which can save you a ton of money in the long run. Now let's click out of this and go back to your guys' online store as I'm gonna show you guys something really cool. As we scroll down, we can actually see other themes that we can actually use on our website, which is gonna make the whole setup process much easier. There are both paid and free theme options, so I would just go ahead and find the one that fits your store. And if you want to check out the ones that are available, all you got to do is visit the theme store and they're all going to be available for you right over here. Now, another part of why people choose Shopify is due to its huge app store. There are over 6,000 different apps on that thing and all of those make it much easier for you guys to run your operation. And again, whether you guys need advanced marketing tools, inventory management, or customer service apps, there's probably going to be an app for that. Those apps are going to be really easy to install and integrate within your guys' business. Now, here are my personal shout outs on the Shopify app store that I strongly recommend to anybody. The first app being Replo. The reason why I recommend it is even though Shopify's platform is really customizable, Replo takes it to a whole nother level while keeping it really simple. So if you're looking to build a website with the design of your dreams, I would highly recommend it. Now the second application is going to be Zendrop. This is going to be mostly used for those folks that are looking to get into drop shipping, and it's something that I used when I first just got started. And the last app that I'm going to recommend, the absolute goat of them all, is going to be Klaviyo. Now Klaviyo is an absolute beast when it comes to email marketing and SMS, and I would highly recommend to and you might be getting started and utilizing for growing your guys' website. Now, those are my top three recommendations for different apps when it comes to Shopify. Now, the last shout out that I'm gonna give to Shopify is gonna be its amazing customer service. Shopify actually offers 24 seven customer support that can be either via chat, phone, or email. And this is gonna be huge because I'm guessing for most people that are watching this video, you guys are just getting started. So you guys are figuring things out. So having someone there that can help you along the way is gonna be crucial. Now let's shift our focus to Webflow. Now again, same rules apply. If you guys wanna follow 
follow along, check out the link down in the description for a free trial of Webflow and let's get started. So all we got to do to get started is just press on this button right over here, enter the email that we want to use and a password. And here we just got to enter in our basic information right over here. So first and last name, what we're going to use it for, pretty much basic information about us, just like we did on Shopify. Now, whenever you guys are getting started on Webflow, I would actually suggest to go with the template option just because again, it can be steeper learning curve. And until you guys feel comfortable, that's what I would go ahead and stick with the template version right over here. So let's scroll down and find the one that we like. I personally like Velocity. So let's go ahead and select that one. It's going to be Yvonne's marvelous site and let's create it. Now to sum it up, Webflow is a powerful website builder that combines the flexibility of custom coding with the ease of visual editor. Those folks that really like to use it are going to be designers and web developers. Now here's some of the things that make Webflow stand out. Number one is going to be for sure the design flexibility. So unlike Shopify, where there are going to be a ton of different pre-existing drag and drop features that you can actually add on your website, the biggest benefit when it comes to Webflow, you can literally make anything you want. Now I do got to warn you as it is going to be a little bit more complicated. There's still going to be that drag and drop aspect to this. And all we got to do to access it is just press on the right and we can see all the different features that we can actually add to our website. However, it's not going to be as simple as Shopify. But the benefit of that is if we look at our panel right here on the right, there are going to be a lot of more different ways we can actually modify our website and change it to the lay we like. So here's an example for you guys. If I want to go ahead and move this heading right over here, I can just drag and drop it where I want to. So by me moving it around, I actually can't do anything about it. But if I would go ahead and change the padding to it, I can actually move it anywhere I like. And as you guys can see, Webflow is made of different containers, different building blocks. And we can see all those building blocks right over here on the left hand side. If we just press on the section here on the little carrot, we can actually expand it to see which one of these building blocks, what are they consistent of? And look, I get it. This whole thing seems really confusing. So that's why we have other videos on the channel that explain Webflow, how it works and different features behind it. Now let's go ahead and check out the CMS system that Webflow has in it. All we got to do is just press the create new collection and we're going to be ready to go. Now the content management system, AKA CMS is going to be really flexible when it comes to Webflow. Now you're not going to use CMS every single time, but it's going to be ideal for those type of websites that need to be updated regularly and have a lot of content on it. You can actually create custom fields and set up relationships between different content types. And it's going to make it much easier for you guys to manage and display your content in many different ways. And Hey, another huge part behind building a website with Webflow is you can actually have pretty slick animations. Now I'm not going to go too much into how to create those, but let me show you an example of one that I think is going to be really good. So Morris Peterson has actually recreated the animation for AirPods Pro. Now let's see how it looks like. So as we scroll down right over here, check out how slick this is. Ain't no way you're building this in Shopify. Boom. And if you are, it's going to take you a lot of custom coding. Now Webflow, you can actually do it all internally, which is why using the platform is going to be much easier for that front. So the main premise of this is that the animations that you guys can build within Webflow can be out of this world. And when it comes to different e-commerce features, Webflow actually still has some capabilities. However, they're not going to be as powerful as Shopify. Most of the ones at Webflow are going to be good for small and medium businesses. But as you guys scale, I would personally not recommend it. But if you guys are interested, all the e-commerce features are going to be linked right over here where you can actually set them up based on your guys' products and categories and list any things you guys want. There's actually even a Webflow university that offers a range of free courses to help you guys master the platform. So there's a pretty big community and I would go ahead and check it out as you guys are growing within your website building journey. So the question is, which platform should you use? Shopify or Webflow? Now the true answer is that it will depend on your guys' goals and specific needs. I would choose Shopify for the four following reasons. Number one is if you're primarily focused on building an online store. Number two is if you need a user-friendly platform with extensive e-commerce features, which is pretty much what it's for. Number three is that you want a wide range of third-party apps to extend your guys' store's functionality. And Shopify is excellent at doing so with those 6,000 apps on its app store. And number four is that you guys are looking for reliable customer support and robust security features. Now, on the other hand, I would choose Webflow if you guys are looking for design flexibility and customization as you guys' top priorities when building a website. Because look, to be honest with you guys, Webflow blows Shopify out of the water when it comes to customization of you guys' website. Additionally, if you guys want a powerful visual editor that generates clean code, Webflow is going to be the move as Shopify simply cannot do that. And again, if you guys are looking for something that works with CMS, interactions, or animations, Webflow is going to be your best friend as it has different features that help you guys customize your guys' website and the platform that you guys are working on. So pretty much to sum it up, Webflow has a steeper learning curve, but if you're able to overcome that, your website can be much more customizable. And there you guys have it. Both Shopify and Webflow are amazing platforms with so many different features. And in all honesty, the best platform actually kind of depends on what project you guys are working on. I hope you guys found this video helpful. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. On this 
channel will make videos on building and growing your guests' first website. But if you're still having trouble with it, as I know it can be a little bit of a confusing topic, check out the link down in the description as we do have a completely free service that can help you guys with the setup of your guys' first website for completely free. And again, if you guys want to play around with both Shopify and Webflow, those exclusive links are going to be down in the description for you guys to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Peace.